that great things are done when you make do with what you've got. Exactly. Whether it be with Gordon Mott Park, the art and the exhibition, um, Gordon Mata's son of the artist Mata took abandoned buildings, made artworks out of spaces, urban spaces that were abandoned, left to rot. Buildings that were really just made of uh, great history that he revealed. It's raw, really beautiful history to it. And the buildings were meant to be torn down, so what was left, like the artist Cristo, or a lot of earth art that was temporary sight pieces, were really meant for the memory. He photographed the projects, more than just documentary photographs, like these two pictures, they're a diptych. It's based on a project he did in Paris, and a really beautiful project. It shows the interior, exterior relationship of the, of the structure, of the skin and bones of the artwork. He got very, I think, very uh, interested as with this artist, Robert Smithson, with elements of mixing aspects of entropy, things that really changed over time in nature, in structures that man sets up. And this piece, he, uh, he set up these photographs which are uh, in the landscape sort of map out the landscapes within landscapes. Relates to Shannon Ebner's photographic work. It's called Sculptures and Voltaires. Shannon's an LA-based artist who works with ideas and relationships of language and image. This piece comes from a, an object of a container that contains signs. And the signs she uses in, in her images, in her art. So this piece really maps out again the sort of process that Shannon goes about it within her art and uses that object in the landscape in itself with the scene, the sort of wasteland image of this object. In opened up sculptures and volunteers. Bas van Otter, Dutch artist, it's called The Elements, and it's the artist himself with, uh, standing with the sign, fire, uh, water, fire, as the title, The Elements. It's from 1971, and uh, it's a really beautiful piece.